Hey guys, welcome to Mom's Machines. This is Liz here, and today I'm going to show you how I set up a new work area and connected it using a transport path. What you see here is the automower working in that newly added area. Let's get started. Here we go. Things first, before the automower works a new area, it's best to mow it beforehand. So here I am on the John Deere tractor doing just that. Before I start setting up the work area for you, let's go to the whiteboard. Okay, so here is our house, and this is our fenced-in area that we don't mow, and our driveway comes down here. The charging station for the mower is right here. The docking point is right here. The docking point is just a point where it backs up and that's where all the transport paths come back to. Over here on the other side of the driveway is the reference station. And I still have it on my ladder, so I haven't put a post up yet for it. There's the first area. I've already done area one and area two. I did that in my last video. And I went ahead and set up this area over here on the other side of the driveway. And then I also set up this area. This area one and two don't have transport paths because they're really close to the charging station. And area three, the transport path actually comes from within the work area and back to the docking point, and it crosses over the driveway. In area four, the transport path comes here, from here, over to the docking point. And you have to start the transport paths from within the work area. In this video, I'm going to be setting up this work area, and then I'm going to do the transport path. So it's, the transport path is going to come from here and go up to the docking point. Let's go. Before starting the new work area, here's the work areas that I already set up within the app. The green areas are the work areas and the blue lines are the transport paths. You see the transport path starts within the work area and goes back to the docking point. Now it's time to create this new work area. First, I'll drive the mower to where I want the work area to be. Then I go into the map part of the app and add an object. As you see from the list of choices from here, I pick work area. Now you just simply walk around the work area that you want, setting down waypoints. And when you're finished, you click on save and you have the work area completed. Here's a screenshot of the partially finished work area. Uh, the outline is what I've already done. And you can see the dots and some of it, it's, those are the waypoints. And here is the finished new work area. It actually crosses over a little bit with the other work area, but that's just fine. To add a transport path from the app, go back into the map, add object, and select transport path from the choices that you see here again. Okay, so I think you can see both. So I've already started one waypoint, and I'm inside the work zone that I just set up. And I'm basically just going to drive it up to the docking point and uh, do waypoints along the way. You don't have to do a bunch, but just some. When making a new transport path, I start driving the mower from at least one meter or 3.3 feet from inside the new work area. And of course you drop waypoints along as you go uh, toward the charging station. All the, the blue is where I started. And every time I wanted a little point, I just drop it, which I don't. And I'm gonna hit done. So here's what the new transport path looks like in the app. It's the blue line that starts from inside the new work area and goes to the docking point. Now that we got the transport path in, it's time to mow the new area. The mower will simply follow the new transport path out to that area and start mowing it. As you see, the mower is working here just fine and doing a beautiful pattern on this section of the yard. Thanks for watching Mom's Machines again. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section, like this video, and subscribe. Have a great day. Here we go.